And then I did it. I moved to a country I'd never been to at 18 years old. And six years later, here, here I am in London drinking coffee and filming a YouTube video. Hey, 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 Candace here. I'm a London travel blogger and influencer, and this is my first YouTube video. Oh, say with confidence, this is my first YouTube video. This is my, this is my first, this is my first, this is my first YouTube video. <laughs> okay, let's let's rewind to the beginning. I'm gonna drink some more coffee. <sighs> so a quick backstory, I am from Orlando, Florida and Morristown, New Jersey. I moved to London in 2016 and I have no intention of moving back to the US. One day I saw this now in this video on Facebook talking about studying in Germany and I was like, what the heck, you can study in Europe for your undergrad? That's crazy, I didn't know that. Or maybe I was just a very naive American. Anyways, thanks to retargeting, thanks Zuckerberg, I started seeing ads for London and immediately I just knew this is where I wanna be. And so I saved up, I worked hard. I remember I was working at an IHOP when I was in high school and every single table that I would get, I would say like, oh yeah, I'm, you know, I'm moving to London. They did not care, like they just wanted their pancakes, but it was really funny because um, I was just so, 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 so obsessed with this dream. And then in 2016, I hopped on the plane to start my undergrad in London. I literally felt a burst in my chest as soon as I landed in this city in Heathrow, September 24, 2016. I was so excited. Um, and I think it was the first time that I actually felt me, which is so strange to say. But do you know that feeling when you go somewhere, whether you're traveling or just anything you just go to a new place and you just feel like oh wow like like stop like like i need my coffee right now because it just feels like i belong here that's the exact feeling i had over those three years i made tons of memories i traveled across europe i worked dozens of jobs i switched my career path i fell in love i fell out of love and I dated someone who passed away the same year that I met him. So, a lot of experiences. Um, but I realized, as hard as life could be overseas, that this was home. Um, this was home. So at this point, I decided I definitely wanted to stay in London, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't romanticizing London, which spoiler alert, I kind of still, okay, I kind of still do. But at the same time, I thought it was really important to live somewhere else before I came back and really, you know, worked at getting a permanent visa. Um, so I did, I left to move to China to teach English for a year at a private school in Shanghai. And this just so happened to be um, at the end of 2019 and early in 2020, which means, yes, I was in China during COVID, um, which is a whole other video. Anyways, <laughs> I decided to go to Thailand for two weeks when things started getting pretty bad, just to kind of see if things would blow over and then I could go back and teach in China. That did not happen. I got stuck in Chiang Mai, Thailand for six months. But in that time, I took a blogging course. I always had a blog and always enjoyed social media. Worked on social media at uni and just loved digital marketing. I had also studied public health and health promotion and decided by the time I graduated that was not what I wanted to do. I really wanted to do digital marketing. And so having all of this alone time, being in a foreign country, loving digital marketing, being on social media, having the story to share, loving blogging, just taking this blogging course, like it all came together in this like soup of like opportunity and just like intuition just telling me, just go for it. Like Candace, this is your time to become a content creator. I started documenting my experience of living abroad on Instagram and people started responding. And I would just start it to meet all of these people that were living such similar lifestyles to me. The only problem was I loved London. Like I love London and I knew that if I really wanted to go hard at this whole blogging and social media thing, like it had to revolve around my passion. And my passion is this city among many, but it's definitely the biggest one. So I moved back to London in September of 2020 and launched Candice Abroad. I've had that domain since I moved to London in 2016. 
but I did what a lot of content creators do, including myself, where you write one blog and then you forget about it for like three years and then you come back and say, oh, there's that blog that I never did anything with. And over time, I went from having this idea about being a London travel blogger to being a London travel blogger. Working with dozens of brands, getting paid thousands of dollars to create content. I wrote an ebook, I started a community for women in London, and then on the life side, started my career in digital marketing. I met my partner, I just started living and working and adulting in the city that I had left so confused and with no idea of what I wanted to do in life um, and came back with so much clarity. And that is where you're meeting me. So over the next year, my goal is to do this full time and I want to fully document that journey as well as sharing tips and behind the scenes on London life, blogging and influencing, and yeah, just all the information that I can give to make it easier for someone else on the other side of the screen, which I'm sure is you on the other side of the screen. Hello, how are you? How's your day? <laughs> I'm so weird. Ah, oh, this is my first video. This is my first video, we'll get better. And yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming along, and stay tuned for the next video. Um, subscribe, subscribe, yes, and check the links below for cool things, resources, all of that stuff. Like, I don't, I'm so new to YouTube, I don't know what you're supposed to ask. Subscribe, okay, subscribe, like, um, comment, and link in the description box for cool things. Okay, bye. <laughs>